Hello, everyone. Wanted to welcome you to the first in this series of webinars by Credit Safe USA. My name is Nathan Kalb. I am uh, head of brand engagement here at Credit Safe USA. But uh, today's webinar is definitely not about me. Uh, it is about what our tools and what our products and everything can do to help your business. So really, it's about you. We want to make sure that um, you can understand and see and know what all is going on and, and have the best chance to use these tools and services that we have to make smarter business decisions for your business, for your company. Uh, today, I am fortunate to have Chris Fenstemacher with me. Uh, Chris is our CRM Premier Accounts Manager. Uh, he has been with us for seven years and uh, basically since, since Credit Safe USA has started. And Chris leads a team of folks that work with our current clients to make sure that they can have the best experience and know how to use our products the best possible way so their businesses can succeed, they can, they can mitigate their risks, and like I said, to make the smartest business decisions possible. So welcome, Chris. Uh, glad to have you here with me. Glad to be here. Absolutely. And uh, since you are the expert on this, I'm going to turn this over to you and let you go through uh, what you have for us today about monitoring. Absolutely. So, you know, to piggyback off Nathan, I want to thank you guys all for your time. Uh, we're going to go through kind of a high level, um, basically how to use the monitoring tool. So the purpose of the webinar, again, is to give you a high level overview of what Credit Safe's monitoring tool is capable of on how you can benefit from it. We'll be going through the basics of the tool and we'll do a deeper dive down the road on another webinar series. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, what is monitoring? So monitoring is the facility where you can literally set it and forget it to receive email alerts on any company you decide based on your specific parameters. This is the most powerful tool we have available to Credit Safe users. It allows you to monitor entire portfolios, whether it be customers, vendors, or whoever you want with the click of a button. The best part, it's available to all Credit Safe customers. So to get started, simply log into the website as normal, and on your left-hand toolbar, you'll see the monitoring tab right here. Once you give that a click, it'll pop you into the home screen. So what you're looking at here is basically an overview of what's going on within your portfolio. On this particular webinar, again, we'll be covering the first three tabs up at the top of the screen on addressing the exports and analysis down the road. Uh, so I, you know, a little bit about myself, like Nathan had said, uh, we, we constantly are visiting customers and, and users of the system to learn a bit more about their processes. And too many times I see you know, credit professionals there pulling the credit reports, printing the credit reports, putting them in the filing cabinet with a credit app to sit there and collect dust. A lot of times these files aren't even being reviewed until something goes wrong with their account. This tool can be your new up-to-date filing cabinet. You don't necessarily have to wait until something goes wrong to reassess credit terms. This allows you to be proactive with either reining in credit lines as well as increasing them. So the default setting for every credit safe user is to automatically monitor any report that you pull. All right, you can toggle this on and off by clicking up here in the red box. Now, if you do have it toggled off, you will have to add companies to your monitoring manually by clicking monitor at the top of the credit report. Right here, we have the event summary. So this is a day-to-day -day breakdown of how many events are taking place within your portfolio over the past 30 days, okay? You do have the ability to customize this up here. If you want to see events in the past 14 days, the past seven days, and even down to the past 24 hours, uh, you can really have the ability to drill down as far as you want to go. You also have the ability to set custom dates. So if you want to go further than that 30 days, you want to go you know, 15 days, whatever the case may be, again, you can customize it to your liking. If you're not a fan of the line graph, you'd rather see a bar graph, that's an easy fix. You can click right here and toggle back and forth between you know, a line graph and a bar graph. Again, you may have noticed the theme of this uh, is going to be customizing everything that you want uh, to see the data the way you want to see it. So let's dig into the portfolios tab. Simply put, a portfolio is a list of companies that you want to monitor and receive email alerts on. The most common portfolios that we see are set up around specific customer segments, whether it's broken down by risk category, invoice size, country, etc. 
If you have in-house collectors, you can also set up different portfolios for every collector. Uh, it can also be used to track your vendors and split out those critical ones as well. Again, completely up to you on how you want to set up your different portfolios. Uh, you have the ability to do as many different portfolios as you want. We'll never limit that on you. Um, so from this tab, there are numerous things that you can do. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is adding a new portfolio. To do that, pretty straightforward. All you do is click add a new portfolio. What's going to happen is you'll get a pop-up box that looks like this. Okay. So here's where you decide what you want that portfolio called, what you want that email title to be. Now we do highly recommend that you put something in there that's going to grab your eye when it hits your inbox. For example, high risk customers, critical vendors, high value customers, things like that. All right. Lastly, you can add whoever you want to be dis distributed this email to. So all you would do is put their first name, last name, and email address. For example, if your C-suite wants to see email alerts on your highest value customers, simply add them in here. Anytime you get an alert on that, they will as well. Again, completely customizable to fit your needs. Popping back to the portfolio tab, uh, the next thing we're gonna look at here uh, is giving other users within your business the visibility into one another's portfolios, okay? So if you click on the view icon here, what this will pop up is for you to give other users within your business the ability to either view the portfolio, add companies to the portfolio, edit the parameters of the portfolio, and remove uh, companies from that portfolio as well. You can set this per user or you can keep it consistent across the board. Uh, this really comes in useful uh, if you have staff members out, you know, somebody's out of the office. So that way somebody else can kind of pick up where they left off. Okay. So this leads us into setting the specific parameters for your portfolios. So what we're looking at here are the default settings. So you can see here, uh, again, this is default across the board. Uh, you can configure this any way you would like. Customers typically set up different uh, parameters for different portfolios, depending on what group of companies they're monitoring. Uh, they tend to use a bit stricter rules on either high risk or high value customers. So you know everything that's going on within those businesses. Uh, with the rating, the credit limit, the days beyond terms, and the legal count, you can control what point you want to be notified and be as strict or not as you would like. Again, you, all, you do have the ability to set different parameters for different portfolios or keep them consistent across the board. Okay. As you can see up here, we are currently looking at the default parameters for the US. We do offer this service in 18 countries as well. Uh, and we can get into that on the next slide. But here you can go from one country to the next and set your specific criteria for that country. You also have the ability to set global rules. So if you don't necessarily want to set specific parameters for specific countries, this acts as blanket parameters for every country that you do business with that the monitoring covers. All right, so now let's take a look at where you're able to monitor companies. Right here, if you click on that little US icon, brings you the drop down menu of where we offer this service. Uh, we can distribute this after our call upon request, uh, but again, it's, you have full access to this within your monitoring tool. Uh, to drill down into a company, simply put your cursor over that country that you're looking to set parameters for and give it a click. So this is going to look very similar to the other slide with the US, uh, but again, you can set spe specific parameters for specific countries, whether there's, you know, a high risk area that you're doing business in, you want to be a little stricter on, you know, a lower risk area where you can be a little looser on. Uh, again, it's completely up to you. One thing we do recommend is finding a balance of what parameters you set. We obviously don't want you missing anything significant, but we don't want to be blasting your inbox with so many emails that you become numb to them and you may miss something important. All right. Now, why do we do this? The most important piece of this is obviously the emails that you receive based off the parameters that you set. Okay. So what we're going to look at here is a live example of what those emails look like. Many of you have probably seen them before, uh, but it's important to point out. You can see up here, I have this called UPP monitoring alert. Again, we highly recommend you call the email something that's gonna stick out when it hits your inbox. And what we'll give you is a list of the companies that meet or exceeded the parameters that you have set. So we'll let you know what company we're giving you an alert on, 
and why we're giving you that alert. For a deeper dive into the company, all you would have to do is simply click on the company's name here and that populates the full credit safe credit report for you. And there you have it. Uh, now you know how to get started with monitoring. There are many other capabilities with this tool that we will cover in upcoming webinars like Nathan and I said earlier. Uh, I do wanna stress the fact that you have your dedicated account representative that is there for you if you need any help getting started. Please do not hesitate to contact them if you need anything at all. Well, thanks a lot, Chris. Uh, I do want to add one thing real quick. Um, if you do have some questions, there are there is the ability for you to write those in. I apologize, I didn't say that at the beginning. Uh, please go ahead and do that. We are gonna stick around here for just a minute or so to, to take those questions. Um, but as we're doing that, one thing I did, did have a question for you just from myself, Chris, is at, on that last slide, you were showing us the, uh, the email. What if we have like four or five different things on that email? Is there, is there a way to go in and, and look at that stuff um, and then get to the reports if there's a, there's a whole bunch of those things that, that seem to happen at the same time, say from one portfolio or something like that? Absolutely. So what you have the ability to do is, we're gonna have to go back here. Bear with me. Yeah, so on the home screen of the monitoring tool, it gives you a breakdown of what your companies, you know, the, the companies that fall into your recent events. And it gives you the ability to view the full report from there as well. Gotcha. Okay, so that was at the bottom there under the line graph or the bar right. graph and everything like that. It had each of the things. Very cool. All right, so we've got a couple of questions here. Um, and feel free as we're, we're answering these to, to go ahead and give us more. Uh, so, Chris, you showed a couple of countries um, that we can monitor, do all the countries that you showed in that big list, do all of them have the same parameters that you can set? So no, there are, and as you can see here, there are different parameters that we're able to monitor country to country. So it really is important if you are dealing, you know, heavily in, in certain areas to take a look at the country specific parameters that you have the ability to set, because they will vary slightly from country to country. Okay. Very cool. Okay. So each country might have a little bit of something different, not just, um, I, you know, I noticed in your presentation that, you know, it went from dollars to Deutschmarks and things like that. Like, you know, the, the currency is going to change, but it also has different parameters that we can get, like we see here, uh, like you're showing in Canada. Got it. Exactly. Cool. Um, how many companies can somebody monitor at one time, Chris? So we never want to limit the amount of companies that you can monitor. Um, you can monitor as many or as little uh, companies as you want. Uh, again, with the portfolios, you can set up as many of those as you want. Again, we never want to limit the number of, of companies that, you know, you want to be in the know on. Okay, very cool. Uh, can, okay, so this one's a little, little more involved, so stick with me here. Uh, can there be different rules or permissions for different portfolios for the same user? Absolutely. Um, so you can set up again as many portfolios within a single username and password as you want and you can set different parameters for those portfolios or keep them consistent across the board. So the answer, yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. So they can, they can do that. Got it. Makes sense. Um, and then, uh, oh, here we go. Is this, is this an extra cost for this product? No. Absolutely not. One of the best things about it is it does come free for all credit safe customers. Very cool. Yeah. You were saying it, it's, it's included in all the stuff that, that we do anyway. So um, not, not an extra cost to get this monitoring service. It's, it's just something that's available and, and um, something that's really powerful for, for our clients. Exactly. So Chris, uh, you know, as we, as we wrap up here, if, if there aren't any, any other questions, please send them in, but that's all that I have right here. Um, how do, how do folks get a hold of us? And if they have any more questions, what, what should they do? So I, again, I highly recommend you contact your account representative uh, directly. Uh, I don't know if my email address and phone numbers were on the, the invites, but you can always contact me directly as well. Uh, but again, you know, point of this for you to know that we're here for you. Um, you need help setting up monitoring. You have any queries whatsoever, your account representative is here to help. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Chris. And uh, like I said at the beginning of this, this is the first of this new web webinar series that we are hosting. Uh, there will be quite a few more upcoming. So please check your email, uh, check our social media pages, LinkedIn, Twitter, 
um, and our Instagram page for those registrations for the upcoming topics, the upcoming speakers. Uh, we will be having webinars that are both internal, so folks from Credit Safe talking about uh, stuff that's relevant to your business, but also folks that are external to Credit Safe that we're going to have on that are going to be our guests to speak about all this. And one other thing that we want to make sure that everybody out there knows uh, this type of stuff that we were just talking about does uh, focus more for our current clients, those folks that have our services and, and work with our products now. But for those of you that don't, we understand that right now is, is kind of a, a disrupted, um, confusing um, time based on what's going on in the world. And we wanted to do something to help. So if you go to our, our webpage, if you go to our uh, website, um, you will see our Stay Safe program. Uh, this is a program that we've put together to help every business out there. Every business in the US, uh, we wanna be able to do something to help you out. So if you would go over to creditsafe.com slash US, you will be able to see that. You'll, you'll be directed to the, credit, the uh, Stay Safe program from there and be able to take advantage of some of the offerings that we have for you to help your business through this time that are gonna be at no cost to you currently. So we'd love to, to talk to you more about that as well. If you do uh, contact us in any way, we can direct you there or we can discuss that with you without any problem. But thanks so much for being with us and uh, we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar. Have a great day.